a, an emerging team grant on a particular eye disorder called choroideremia. And what we're doing is developing a gene therapy protocol for this disorder after admittedly a number of years of research. And we're partnering with colleagues at Imperial College London and Oxford University in the United Kingdom. So it's a trial uh, to treat choroideremia with gene therapy. And it involves uh, injection of a virus underneath uh, the retina and uh, to fix a DNA defect. To date, there's been no treatment for it. There have been things that you can avoid, like smoking, things that you can do to protect your eyes, for example, wearing sunglasses to try to reduce the amount of sunlight coming into the eye, because we know that sunlight is somewhat damaging. But other than that, uh, other than maintaining a healthy lifestyle and a good diet, nothing really to offer. Uh, now, I want you to put your chin right on the chin rest. Come a little bit closer. So my name is Mark heiser wierinka I'm an Edmontonian, um, and I have choroideremia. Uh, so that's uh, um, uh, a retinal uh, dystrophy or blinding disease. In the last decade or so, I've certainly met the definitions for legal blindness and um, uh, have uh, virtually no peripheral vision, and um, uh, my central vision is definitely beginning to break down. In choroideremia, it is the vascular layer, the choroid, and the pigmented layer that overlies the retina, and the retina itself that undergoes degeneration. And so when we're going to be doing this gene therapy experiment, we're actually going to have to put the viral vector that has the gene underneath the retina with an injection. It's amazingly exciting in terms of uh, Dr. McDonald has spent most of his life on this project. First of all, identifying choroideremia, the, the genetic defect, and then from there, now, uh, figuring out a way with the help of a variety of other people how to fix the genetic defect. And so it's unbelievably exciting. And it's going to help patients of mine, patients uh, in Edmonton, patients all across Canada, and then around the world. What we really hope is that we'll see an improvement either in visual acuity or visual field. What we think that will happen will be that the visual function will not decline as it would normally over a period of years. Sure, if that's all that we there. get, we'll okay. take that and we'll be very thankful, okay. very so grateful that we've been able to preserve that's vision. Perhaps hard to really convey how significant this is to us. There has been uh, a lifetime in my uh, sort of experience of hope, longing, frustration, um, dealing with uh, retinopathy that causes you to lose your vision. Um,